babies. What's, What's up, my, my darling, darling MVPs? MVPs? How, are you, How are you all doing? doing? Welcome back to sale. With me, just leave me, maybe I get the gist. As it they do waiting. As it they hurt. Of course, you know there's no sleeping on the bicycle on this channel. If it's not, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a far long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How would you get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how would you get the gist? As it hurt. So, guys, talking about the gist as it hurts. Let's talk about Perewe's diary session. You know, when Biggie called Perewe to the diary room, Perewe was fuming in anger because of what happened earlier on with him and uh, Alex. So, when he got to the diary room, he was just frowning, taking a breath of fresh air, you know. And then Biggie was like, this is not the domino of um, somebody who is, you know, actually safe from nominations. You understand? Because normally, the person where they say for nomination is supposed to, to the jolly, you know, being happy and all of that. But Pere was not giving any of sorts. And then Biggie was like, waiting the support happened, you know, in as much as we know Biggie knows everything, you know, but he still asked him that what was happening. And he started lamenting about Alex. He explained everything that happened on how he was actually having a banter with up. Omashola, which is Shawzy, you know, they were actually joking, and he was saying that anybody will not like me, their papa. Then Alex now carry herself and put in into that. And afterwards, Alex now came to him and start warning him of not, you know, trying to mention his par her parents or whatever. You know, that Alex keep coming for him, you know, that the housemates, he doesn't know why the housemates actually are coming for him like he's just somebody that the housemates are coming for you know why he was complaining all of this on how the housemates are coming for him how the housemates are already placed him as somebody who is actually a troublemaker that even when he's on his own lane they still keep poking him you know so why he was complaining about all of this in the diary session people were coming for him they were like oh it is your plan for buying now it is coming back to you you planned for buying to get the third strike so that she will leave the house rather you you got one strike now you're plotting all of the stuff for buying now it is you the housemates are coming for that is how life is when you come for the innocence so do you think this is playing out well for Pere? because people have been coming for Pere back to back that he deserves whatever is that is happening in as much as you might think he deserves whatever that is happening but i don't think the way Alex is coming for him, I think it is quite unnecessary anyways, you know. So he actually complained about that and began to actually, you know, talk him out of it and not ask him that. Um, ask, ask him about the stuff about the house, ask him about his nominations, you know, about the head of house game and the head of house, you know. So he said the head of house is doing well, which is cross. And then he explained about the thing with Kimopra and how Doyin lied to, according to him, you know, that uh, he, because Biggie asked actually that, how was Doyin's eviction and all the blah blah blahs and he was like he was even happy that Doyin was evicted because of the thinking with um, Doyin, Kimopra thinking that they had the conversation they had we all know what happened between Pere and Doyin so he explained everything to Biggie and he was like he felt pain when Kimopra left you know so he actually mentioned his nomination he was like he nominated um, Ven, uh, he nominated who again? Soma mercy and alex and he was there for summer and mercy that mercy is a chilled lady always minding her business she does not come for anybody she's always on her lane but he do not have anybody to to mention you know then he had to mention mercy and he, he was there for summer to the angel is his booty him and angel are quite close but he had to mention summer that he is quite sorry for angel and you know mercy sorry summer and mercy if they come to see this anytime you understand that is not out of his own will but the game has to play on then he was like for alex it was the same reason he nominated alex the last week because alex is always poking him always looking for his trouble always coming for him you know that was the reason why he actually you know nominated alex it may seem as though this thing with pere and then alex is gonna take a whole lot of time to the extent that after biggie finished his conversation with pere pere was asking biggie about coding you know on how someone can be punished about that you know because to him he few alice was actually coding and coming for him after you know he was having a conversation with other housemates and biggie was like time would tell about that that was how he left now let's talk about venita's diary session 
it may seem as though what Doyin said to Venita really got to her because <laughs> in her diary session, she actually addressed it. She actually spoke about the later thing in on Adekunle's wardrobe locker. And she was like, she is 150% sure that Mr. Bones, aka Doyin, was the one who puts the letter in Adekunle's locker because this person actually referred, referred to how he, she cannot wait for them to get to know themselves outside. And she was like, after how many one year of actually talking down on the guy, now this person wants to, you know, have a thing with the guy. So in her own innermost mind, she feel it was Doyin who actually, you know, put the letter in there. You know, I, I can't wait for the husband to come outside of the house and see whom the real culprit is because angel in her diary session has actually said that she's not going to disclose anything about that later because even Suma did not even let her do that so the housemates will tend to find out outside of the house so right now the only person in their mind is doing it doing it did it doing it did it you know because the few doing is the only person that could you know actually do it that is why don't you complain in her interviews that they do not that they do not like her in the house every negative thing they would want to put it on doing she even used this um, later thinking for an example. Even Venita also said that white money did not come to the house to win. That he came to the house to, you know, to to sell his music career because every way Jack has white money wants to impute music in it. <laughs> oh my word, I can't stop laughing, you know, because I see how Adekunle is kind of worried. He was thinking the time, the kind of time white money is putting on to put music in the wager is quite unnecessary. To the extent he asked Big Brother about it. But it is what it is. We can't wait until Friday to find out what the housemates has for us. For the wager, anyway, still talking about doing it. You know, Venice has been a lot about doing it. Say doing was scared of her. That is why doing could not even say anything to her until the day she's leaving. The time she's supposed to create for herself, she used it for Venita because how important she is, you know, that she doesn't blame Doni that she was scared of her. And I'm, I was just laughing, you know, if Venita should know Doni very well, she would know that Doni is somebody that is not scared of anybody. Anyways, talking about Doni, remember in Doni's interview, I told you guys on how Doni said in, in her interview with Olori Supergirl, where she was saying that she owed a particular person, a housemate, an apology. You know, that she's not going to discuss it until she tends to talk to that housemate. We have finally gotten whom that housemate is. That person is Beauty Takura. Yes. As she actually posted on her Twitter, let's read this together, guys. She said, I have been doing some soul searching since I left the house. And I realized the gravity of my actions. I want to know, I want you to know that I never intended to hurt you, and I am devastated that my words had such a negative impact on our friendship. You mean a lot to me, and I value our friendship a lot. It is painful to think that my behavior has put that friendship at risk, and I want you to understand that I take full responsibility for my actions, and I am committed to making amends. I genuinely care about you and our friendship, and I am willing to invest the time and effort required to mend what has been broken. Once again, I hope that you recognize that publicly I have offended you, and publicly I am saying I am genuinely sorry at Beauty Etienne Takura. And I do love you very much. So she put out this letter genuinely from her heart, publicly. We remember when Doyin was in the house. We all know that one thing that Doyin cannot hold on from is her mouth. She said a lot with this her mouth, you know, as she said herself that her mouth is her problem. You know, she said some things about beauty. Each day we keep hearing some things about beauty. Even when she says something about new and beauty having a thingy, even before Mercy and Co could say it, you know, we heard it from doing first. So she's actually apologizing. This is some of the reaction we got on her comments as Rene Zion, which is a Perez stand, said, my dislike for you started when when moving funny in beauty. It got worse when you started talking about her personal life, her relationship, deals, and other scorn TV unprovoked. Then worse when you started coming for Perez, beauty apology is now a 50% dislike. And then she also said, beauty forgive, but never you try to build a friend build a friendship with her again please now if you listen to rainy zion she's actually coming from a place of hurt because she is a staunch pere ebi stan 
Mm-hmm. If you had followed me during baby Titan, you should know Brainy Zion very well. She does not joke with her stand. No. People she is standing, she hold them with her full chest. In fact, concerning Pere, with what is happening in the house with Alex, she has actually vowed to bring her 5 million plus for votes for Pere. You know, she's just asking for IUCs that they can use, you understand, for 5 million plus. So I cannot even really take her side because I think she's coming from a place of the ish Pere had with um, doing. But Tunes is actually a staunch doing fan, as she said. And Tunes is also a co siren She said, beauty that dump your <clears throat> like you were nothing is who you are apologizing to. Someone that is supposed to apologize to you. Let me just go offline. So I don't I don't need this right now. So most of Doin's fans, some of Doin's fans, staunch fans though, are actually not pleased with Doin apology. Now the question is, do you think Doin was right apologizing to Beauty or do you think she would have just ignored her? To me, I feel it is right she apologized. Anyways, and then Hughes replied to Tunes and said, Beauty apologized to her for what? Was Beauty the one that called the friendship social media friendship? Did Beauty say Doin's reality show was trash? Did Beauty say she refers some gig to Doin? Do you see this thing um, Hill said? It reverts to the case of what Doin said in the house. Doin said on her she referred gigs to Beauty regarding channels that they went for a book birthday. You know, Doin said about the Beauty reality show. She said a lot. That is why she had to apologize. So to me, I feel her apologizing is actually right. So I do not think this is something her fans, if you know you love doing I do not think you should leave her right now because of she apologized to beauty because I have seen so many of her stands are saying they are pissed with whatever she's doing, that she's not supposed to do that, blah, 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 blah. But guys, come on, come on. And then coming from, um, okay, let's read this. Beauty is always brain doing a lot of things. In fact, beauty is responsible for funding 60% of doing lifestyle. The gown she wore on unveiling night, it was beauty that gave it to her. So I understand the public apology. Her source of livelihood can't go like that. And then Big Love replied and said, I don't want to believe, don't you see, I don't want to believe, don't you see your life? You didn't thank your fans that got your back. You are begging your God, beauty. As are telling us her secrets, you want to be a real girl so bad, that, but girl, you are a fake girl. Now... This is why I said that you see stands in Big Brother Niger. Don't take people serious. You see this big love was the same person giving doing some accolade for being real to Venita. Now that is why I said some people will give you some accolade because you are coming for people they do not like. But come for their faith. That is when they will come for you. Big love is actually talking down on doing because big love is a stan of B um, Bella. And we all know Bella and them beauty. They are not in good terms. So she's actually doing this because Doin is actually apologizing. So she won't do it to be the rival, like the kind of person who would not send beauty and all of that. Forgetting the kind of friendship they had. Forgetting the kind of relationship they built for each other. So that is why it is said, you see this big brother street. If you listen to this housemates, O-Y-O on your own sorry i mean the viewers actually some of these stands they would actually lead you to to the worst part coming from tunes again yo i will go offline for an hour and this happens. okay i go offline for an hour and this happens child this one pay me sha it pay me this babe stopped supporting you because you said she was dating new went and sent all her vvips to start tweeting shit about you talking about bringing her clothes and collecting money from her even some of them were on, on the doings hair train throughout your stay in that house. On top of what? This one pay me, Sha, it pay me to think you kept her name alive in level up. The one time she was supposed to support you, she didn't and you are apologizing. Chai, it pain me. Now, this is coming from Tunes and you know Tunes is a staunch doing fan. Now, the question right here from me to you guys is, do you think doing is actually right? Apologizing to beauty or do you think she was that just kept everything to herself and just ignored whatever is happening? Like I said, coming from Mimi, Shosti, Mimi, I feel she has the right to apologize. She should, she should do the needful, you know, because she actually said some things she wouldn't have said on the normal. So I think what she did was right, you know. But tell me how you feel. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me about Perez Diary Session, Venice, and then talk about doing. Let's just, but right now, the current trend is doing publicly apologizing to beauty. What do you think about all of this right now? Pausing because the husbands are actually having their techno tax. Well, we'll discuss about that later. For now, I would say goodbye and thank you so much for sailing with me.